You all know what time it is? Pony time. I actually call them ponies every time. They're not ponies, right? In the whole thing that they're humans. They're equestria girls. So they're, they're pony girls. Girls that used to be ponies. I don't know, is it an alternate universe or do they turn into... The, these are questions that don't matter. We're gonna listen to some songs. This might end up being the last video I do on Equestria Girls because I've already done three. This is the fourth. How many more songs are there that people wanna hear? <laughs> I don't know, I just go by the comments. So if there are more, make sure to tell me. The first song is called A Friend for Life. Oh, how nice. A friend for life, that's what you are to me. Oh, oh, it's a little music video. I thought it was straight out of the movie or something. I was wondering why there were these like compilation clips. All right, let me adjust. People aren't gonna be singing to me. Thumping kick drum. You know, I turned this up because it was so quiet before and then it just slowly started rising and it's like, hey, yeah. Do you still wanna have eardrums? already kind of cute. Of track, yeah. I like slowing down the pace of the drums. Coupled with this style of vocal delivery, you get that large atmospheric sort of inspirational sound. I guess I should feel inspired. Like Is this a pre-chorus? I think so. How's it gonna hit? Okay. There is a lot happening in this sound right now. I'm loving all the bouncing of the vocal harmonies. They're done with that acapella sound and obviously they're not acapella because there's music, but it sounds like it's in that style. I also thought the pace of the drums was gonna quicken again in the chorus, but it didn't. It stayed with the half time. So I'm wondering if they're gonna save that for a later chorus and kind of let that hit a bit harder because of it. That would be really cool. So many harmony layers, my god. Every friendship is <laughs> so intense. You say you're sincere, but it's all unclear oh, they've picked up the pace now. Feels like the song's just moving. Oh, like and then they half time again. Okay, cool. I liked that. The light will shine when the time is right. Stop, man. Just stop. <laughs> I have no shame at all about liking these songs, but for real, every time I start doing one of these videos, I just end up surprised and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, these kind of slap. I also just seem to forget that they make such cool choices and create unique sounds. I've paused this right before the chorus. I do want to hear it hit me kind of harder this time. I want that to smack. Hit me, hit me hard. Little bridge, I guess. Ah, oh, the flowy harmonies. They're gorgeous, man. I do love that Equestria Girls seems to put this focus on the harmonies. I talk about them in every video, but it's because they're just so intense with them and I'm so here for it. What I think is particularly cool about it is that I feel like you could take out the main vocal track and just leave all those wispy, nice harmonies and you'd still have something that sounds pretty cool. Might sound a bit more haunting, but it would sound awesome. That's what you are to me. Some of these visuals are so cute though. <laughs> I like the vocal change up. Give me a high note. Oh, getting higher. Oh, I wanted one more repetition. Leaving me hanging. Honestly, a bop. And don't get me wrong, I know it's asking too much because at the end of the day, it's a kid's show. They're not gonna do this. But I just wanna hear filthy, dirty bass that just makes my cerebral cortex vibrate and bounce around my skull. That's all I want, you know? Hit me with some EDM, but with those vocals and those harmonies, oh, I'd be, I would be living. But still, I just consider it a good sign that at the end of the song, I'm like, oh, I wanted more. Give me more. It just means there's great replay value. That's all. The next song is from Rainbow Rocks and it's called Tricks Up My Sleeve. Can tell you that wasn't the sound I thought I'd hear. Was that, was, was that part of the song? If not, I, I, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. What was that like trip hop beat? Oh my God, I hope that's what she's singing over. You better believe I got tricks up my Maybe it's like that, but this is kind of funky already. You better believe Oh my god, I want to hear her just throw some bars over this. What's she doing? I got tricks up my sleeve. Like, putting a coin in a vending machine. Crazy! 
Why does she look surprised by that? Isn't that the point of the vending machine? I don't think kicking it was the best move. And Twi doesn't that mean Twilight's trying to steal stuff and then Trixie comes along and is like, no, 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 here's how you do it actually. You, you pay, you know. That's the system. <laughs> I, got tricks up my sleeve and I, I like how minimalist the beat is. They could have gone so ham with this, but they've kept it at a good rate. See me dominate, cause I'm powerful and okay, just a question, actually. Um, there is no guitar being played right now. So what is she strumming? <laughs> That's the trick up her sleeve, actually. It's that she can play the drums on a guitar. It's crazy. I like this section. What strange delivery, but it works. Was that the Wilhelm scream? They used the Wilhelm scream in this music video. I think this is the weirdest Equestria Girl song I've listened to. And I can tell you now, I still love it. I have so many thoughts on that line. It was silly but I still enjoyed it. But also, was that a regular show reference? They said, don't mean to brag, don't mean to boast. I'm a six course meal and you're just burnt toast. That's the same rhyme even. You know the, do you know the one from regular show? I, so. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast, but I got some hummus for these mini toes. Hummus. <laughs> I like that change of beat and that synth popping up in the background. Oh, dude, I'm hearing that soft little bass they've got going on. And all I can think right now is how much that would slap if they turned that into like a proper electric bass funky ass line. Oh, that would be amazing. Did not expect a little bit of a belty note at the end. It was kind of out of nowhere, but in a good way. I honestly don't even know what genre I would call that. It was kind of hip hop-y, kind of R&B, but also just had an odd sound. I have no idea. If y'all can give me an idea, let me know. But maybe I don't need to know. It's just Trixie genre, right? I will say that while I enjoyed that, I still would have loved to just hear some bars. Uh, just straight up full rap flow over that. Maybe I, maybe I should do that. We'll do a fan song. Me rapping bars over Trixie's beat. Hell yeah. Are you in, Andrew? You want to do a featured verse? Nah, I'm good. Do you just like, enjoy not having fun is that is that how you have fun yeah. you have fun by shitting all over me that's disgusting of course you'd take it there the next one is called legend you were meant to be i do feel like this one is gonna be the inspirational one i need equestria girls tell me why i'm not a piece of crap all right already kind of hype who is that glove what's going on there the hell are you thanos what's <laughs> Oh my, oh lord, is that a keytar? I used to think that stories were just that Set in stone, concrete. Is that the guy? Who are you? I'm also already a little confused because it's singing about the legend you're meant to be But she's talking about stories, so I thought, oh, it's gonna be about like legends and stuff But then it's, she's just, what, singing about it, this guy? It didn't dawn on me That I could change his See, that's just so convenient Okay, I guess it had nothing to do with that guy. He was just a guy, but I don't understand why they would use that shot. Also the metaphor of like writing my own song when it comes to creating history and creating who you are. It's pretty nice. It's a little corny, but in a really cute way. Oh, there you go. Yeah, write my way to the ending that I want. Yeah, you control your destiny, girl. Hey, hey. I like the build. And again, y'all, every single time, harmonies out the asshole. It sounds like they're all farting together. <laughs> Such a cute little bill. All right, give me that little synthy bass. We just get like a nice what, 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 what. Oh. That plus the build plus those layers of harmonies. Yeah, okay, this is getting inspirational. Damn. The idea that I can be a hero too. Oh shit, okay, hot damn. That's boppy as hell with that electric guitar coming in. I thought that was gonna be that dude singing. I'm like, who are you now? Oh my God. 
Hello? I know Applejack is like a hard worker and all that, but like, what is she, the element of swole? <laughs> it's Apple Chad. It's waiting for it. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> Chattlejack. This little pre-chorus is gorgeous. And it hits so nicely because they're taking away a lot of the percussion. Oh yeah, I mean, I can't stop bopping in my little chair here. I would rave to this. Tell me you wouldn't. Especially when they slow it down like that. I forgot that they did that and I, oh, I love it. What you doing there, girl? What did that magic do? I definitely start sounding like a broken record in these videos. It's just that I'm constantly surprised by how much I enjoy these. And again, I think a big part of it is that they're not half-baked song ideas. And like people were saying in the comments of the last video, they do just sound like they were made by a real artist and band. I mean, but they were made by a real artist, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> but because of that, I just know that there's one more thing on my bucket list, and that is to be at a club, at a rave, somewhere, and just hear a bass boosted version of that song come on so that I can just go wild and know in my heart of hearts that I'm gonna be the legend that I was meant to be. The raving, dancing, dancing awfully, but dancing legend. The next song is called We Will Stand Forever Free. Is Ever Free in danger? I'm guessing. Are we gonna get like a combative sound? I'm intrigued. I have waited for the day. Okay. And it's greedy wolf away. I'm always gonna be happy with double bass or cello or whatever it is. It's music to my ears and it makes this sound so dramatic, which is very different from the last three. They've all been so happy and inspirational and fun. And then this one's just like the world is going to end and you and you alone must save it. Love her design though, what the hell? We'll stand oh. Is, is, is she's saying we will stand forever free, which to me sounds like ever free is under threat. Like there's some sort of danger trying to destroy ever free and they're like, we'll stand. And that sounds like it's a good thing, right? And yet she sounds and looks evil. The music that's playing also makes her sound very evil. And these people, a terrified of what she's doing. Is she the baddie? Am I getting hyped for the baddie? Yes, she a baddie. Behold the beauty of nature in all its glory. Is she like mother nature? Need to fear the vultures. Why are they running from her? I mean, look, you know what? I say, I say why they're running from her. If someone was just like spawning tree branches and going like, Bleh! I'd be like, hey, could you do me a favor and do that over there? <laughs> Oh my God. Oh God, okay, he starts hacking at <laughs> I for real just thought he was just gonna run at her with an ax. I'm like, how dark is the question your girl's getting? I mean, he's not gonna make a dent. What do you, what did you think you were gonna do, fam? <laughs> I mean, how evil can she be? That guy was just hacking at extensions of her, I don't know, or, or things she's made with an ax. And she grabbed the ax, but instead of like, you know, using it to smash him to pieces. She just kind of ties him up in branches. I don't know, she didn't seem that bad to me. Trust in me, this is for your own good. Yeah, mm. Okay, look, I can excuse the scary branch shit. I can excuse the evil look and the evil sound, but you know what? I'm starting to get sus. Nature is our friend. Oh, that's even scarier. Don't be scared, nature is our friend. I've never been so threatened by a flower. Let them come, just let them try. I'm not about to say good. See, she, again, but she goes back to singing like, let them come, let them try. It sounds like they're gonna try to attack this place. And she's like, no, 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 no. I got y'all, don't even worry. You know what? I'm just gonna let loose all my worries. It's fine. I don't need them, you know? Bye-bye worries because I love her. She's great, all right? She can defend me. That's fine. Oh my God, high note. Went a little higher, man. Her voice is gorgeous. God damn. What a treat. That just felt like it was straight out of a musical. I love getting hit with stuff like that. It was so orchestral, so epic. I'm still confused, but I'm happy about it. 
Seriously though, that was so different in tone. It almost feels like I just veered into a completely different piece of media. And being able to have such a wide variety of tones just makes me more impressed that it's all from the same piece of media, or at least the same universe. It just shows the depth of the story if that's the variety you need to like, emphasize things. The last one we're gonna listen to is called Find the Magic, and I am pretty sure that this is the Dazzlings, and if so, I think it's the last Dazzling songs that I haven't heard. So this feels like a monumental occasion, a sad one because I love them, but it's fine because it means I get to listen to a new one. So dramatic. Oh my god, Queen! Where do we go? And Queens! Uh, the way the arms came out hot damn! I genuinely thought it was just her at the start. Where do we go? They're so cool. Every day's the same. That's so good already. What the hell, man? The haunting way that they harmonize gets me every single time. Days go round and round. I pitched. I'm getting excited! Like, the slow addition of the hi-hat, it's so simple and just one sound, but because there's nothing else, it cuts through! So keen for the chorus, oh my god. Oh man. They're keeping the chorus low-key as well. I kind of thought that a beat was gonna hit, but it does feel a little bit more in character for them to have this airy, flowy sound that relies more on their voices. I'm loving this sound. God, it's beautiful though. The reverb bouncing in the background. That's so clean. Oh my god, what the hell? This sounds so happy for them. Everything else they've done has had this sort of like sinister undertone to it, like there are ulterior motives. This just sounds nice. Oh. I don't think that simple bass was there before. Wait, they're fixing people? Oh, are they good now? Hell yeah. God. I got a little shiver from those harmonies at the end. Oh my god. And again, I am just left here thinking what a unique sound. I struggle to think of a song that sounds like that. I don't know. I also kept thinking that they might hype it up towards the end, but at the same time I was kind of hoping they wouldn't, because keeping it so low-key and calm was just weirdly so engaging. I mean, I know they're meant to be like sirens or whatever, but I do feel like they just had me hanging on their every word, and yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. So if that was the only dazzling song that I had left to listen to, then what that means is they just did not miss not once, not that I even expected them to for a second. We all knew that they would kill it and that all of these songs would kill it. I still don't think there's any songs from Equestria Girls that I would consider bad. And that's, damn, that's saying something because I've listened to quite a few. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.